Hey, it's Steve and Eddie again. And more of the silly things I do. I have a new amp. It's a Fender amp. Came with this new ugly foot switch. Big, bulky. Does two things. Changes the channel switching. You can see the LED coming on here. Also comes on back here. Let me switch the channel. Also, when you switch the channel, it has a drive and more drive function. I don't like the more drive section. I don't think that it sounds very good. I don't think it's a tube. I think it's a solid state in there. So, what do you do if you just want this and you're afraid you're going to hit this one too sometimes because when you look at them, they're both red. I don't know how to... So, here's what we do you got to build a custom switch okay so what I did here don't mind the artwork and when you plug it in it's just a switch has a nice pretty blue light to go with some of the other things on my pedal board you can see the light on the amp switching too so we know it's switching the channels and the pretty blue light matches the pretty blue light on my modded Boss DS1 also. Isn't that pretty? The Fab Chorus has a blue light. The Delay has a blue light. I guess I need to get a blue one in my tremolo, but... Anyway, that's what you do. It takes up a lot less space. You can design it however you want. Big pedal, small pedal. The owner, you just can't hook up a switch though. Um, there are two diodes, and then to hook up an LED, you've got to add your LED, and uh, most likely you're going to have to have a resistor in there. This one was one of the super bright LEDs, and I have all, you see how bright it is. I have made it about <clears throat> a third as bright as it was by putting a resistor in there. It was like a flashlight, very, very bright. But that's my story. That's how you can do just a simple amp channel switching. If you have that capability, you have a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe 3. That's how you do it. If you need more details, just let me know and I'll post the schematics and show you the guts.